I have five minutes for that. So, to be able to deliver this present in five minutes, I really need your help. So, please, who is here with me, raise up your hand. Thank you. Voices. I have thousands of voices in my head. Even if I'm alone, I have thousands of voices which tells me what is right, what is wrong, what I should do, what I shouldn't do, what I should have done, what that person thinks of me, and, and much, much more. It's a noise in my head. I believe that most of us have these voices in their head. And I propose you right now a short exercise to listen to these voices. And I propose you to listen during five seconds these voices right now. So, listen. Thank you. Who heard voices? Thank you. It's noisy, isn't it? For those of you who didn't and simply asked themselves, what voices or uh, what does this guy want from me? Those are the voices. What I kindly ask you to remember is these voices, these thoughts, however you want to name them, are always with us and always make our brain busy. We are right now in 2012, a year with thousands of meanings, and by the end of the year, in November, and the uh, year 2012, like most of the years, starts with uh, a bucket list, a list with things we would like to accomplish that year, to buy a car, to buy a house, to have a beautiful relationship, or earn that money, or have the job, and so on. Some of them are not yet accomplished, and we have two more months to, to accomplish them, and maybe it's not enough time. So, Please connect to those frustration feeling, feelings, to those fears that you will not get the job, that you will not have that relationship. Please connect, take a, a few seconds and think on all these things, all these voices, all these thoughts. When I was a child, I uh, wanted to tell to a friend of mine something I thought it's important. And I, told, I wanted to tell him, he said, no, 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 stop, stop, stop. You know what, speak in a bag, and I'll hear you later. I remember this because I was, I was frustrated. And uh, now go, let's go back to those frustration feelings and uh, fear feelings we have regarding the end of the year. And we, I propose you all to speak all this frustration in a bag. My colleagues will uh, give you these bags. The bags will look like this. Okay. Uh, better... Uh, let them, let them uh, take the... Okay, and when you have the bag, please raise up your hand so I see... Okay, okay, okay. The speakers in the long bags. And while, while, when you get the bag, prepare the bag to be able to, to whisper the frustrations here. Here in front there are people without bags. Uh, here, two more bags. <laughs> Two more bags here. Here. Okay. Okay. Raise up your hand if you. Okay. Did you prepare the bag? Should be placed enough to put all the frustrations here. Yes. Okay. Now, what we will do? Imagine you put all the frustrations here. Maybe you whisper. Nobody should hear. Or maybe you just imagine you put them here. And then, rise up your hand when you finish. So, remember the frustrations. 2012 is finishing. We didn't do, didn't earn the money, job, whatever, yes? When you finish, rise up your hand. There are two more bags or no more bags? No more bags? Oh, I have one more here. Okay, perfect. Okay, please rise up your hand when you finish. When you put, because in this moment, Frustration from 40 people are sealed in bags. The frustration are there, we are here. Okay? Right now, we prepare, please prepare to listen. Exactly, to listen at the same time. Frustration from 40 people, yes? We'll blow air, bang, we'll explode the bag, and then quiet, listen. Listen, let's see what comes, okay? So together with me, we should in the same time, blow. What did 
we hear? What did you hear? Was bang and nothing. We heard all the frustrations regarding the end of the year, and it was nothing. What do we usually do? We load these thoughts, we load these voices with thousands of meanings, and then we make them heavy. We put them on our shoulders, and then we walk through this life like warriors, and then we cannot walk anymore because they are too heavy. Imagine your life without those voices. Imagine your life without those thoughts, thousands, without, without that noise. Because that second of small silence after you made the boom, when you simply thought maybe something comes, that second of silence is my present to you. Thank you.